One problem with pulsed waveforms can be when one of the pulses does not reach the proper amplitude. This is commonly referred to as a runt signal. In these cases, a specialized trigger function can prove to be very useful. Here is such a runt pulse signal. Let's take a look at how we can use the runt trigger to capture a negative runt pulse. When you press the auto button, the scope will select the edge trigger. This may display the waveform, but the trigger point doesn't stay with the negative pulse of the runt signal. Since there are multiple edges on this waveform, an edge trigger may not get us very close to finding any runt triggers or problems with the waveform. Let's enable the runt trigger. Set trigger mode as runt, select the channel source as channel 1, and in this example, we will look for a negative pulse. So let's set the pulse polarity to negative. We can also use a qualifier to limit pulse width to isolate the event of interest. For example, greater than will express triggers when the runt pulse width is greater than the lower limit of our pulse width. In between, we'll show triggers when the runt pulse width is greater than the lower limit and lower than the upper limit of our pulse width. We can also choose none and ignore this condition of the runt trigger. The vertical window is analogous to the trigger level. A runt trigger is defined by a pulse that passes one level limit but doesn't pass the other limit level. When you choose to only adjust the upper limit of the trigger level, only the upper level will change the lower will remain unchanged. When you select the lower limit of the trigger level, the lower limit will change and the upper level will remain unchanged. You can adjust the upper and lower limits of trigger levels at the same time. In actual testing, adjust the trigger level until a stable trigger is achieved. Notice that when triggering on the negative pulse, the trigger point stays at the pulse rising edge. When triggering on a pulse, positive pulse, the trigger point stays at the pulse falling edge. This concludes our introduction to the runt trigger function. Here are some key points. You want to choose pulse polarity according to the signal of interest. If necessary, add limit conditions for your pulse duration. And then set a suitable vertical window and trigger level. Thank you.